Hey everyone, it's Nikki, and welcome back to my channel. Hey, it is time for September favorites. I'm actually running a little late. I apologize. It is actually mid-October, October 14th to be exact, which is my 15-year anniversary, which explains why I'm running a little late. It's been a crazy, hectic, wonderful month. I just couldn't get my shite together in time. So this is a belated video, but I didn't want to let another day go by without sharing with you some of the amazing lifestyle, beauty, skincare, and body care products that were my very favorite for the month of September. So that being said, let's dive in and see what we have. The very first favorite I wanna share with you has been a staple of mine for many, many years, and it is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. It looks like this. I am in the color Rose Ivory, and this is basically my everyday foundation. It gives a, I would say light to medium coverage, definitely not full, but you can layer it on to get a fuller coverage if you want. But this gives a nice natural finish that I adore, and I used it almost every day in the month of September, and I'm continuing to use it. Now I go, out for a night on the town and I want to really look glam, then I'll usually use my Dior Nude Skin Foundation, but this has been my everyday foundation. All right, the next product that has been a favorite of mine in the month of September is the Glam Glow Thirsty Cleanse. Now this is their daily treatment cleanser. It looks like this, and it is a mud to foam cleanser. It's really weird. You put it on and it's kind of muddy. It's like, it's almost like their mask. And then when you add water, it foams up. I use this about once or twice a week. I do not use it every day, although I'm sure you could. I find that if I have some breakouts or if it's that time of the month, this does a great job kind of restoring the balance to my skin. And it even seems to dry up those breakouts. Because it is a little drying, that's why I don't use it every day. But it has been a lifesaver of mine when I've had those achy breaky moments where I tend to break out. So I've been loving this. Another favorite of mine has been a, sort of a duo. This is a body care duo. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I talk about the A Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub and their salt scrubs. I love these. I think these are a heck of a good value. You get a big old tub of scrub and um, their body butters are amazing too. You can pick these up at Walmart, Target, sometimes even in the grocery store and they're very, very affordable. I wanna say this one is about $12. This one was maybe around 10, and they last a good long time, baby. Now, these ones are in my new favorite scent, and it's almond and honey. Oh, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like a dessert. Um, oh, I love it. Now, look at all that good goodness. Oh, my gosh. I use this in the tub or in the shower, and I just scrub it on all my little flaky bits of skin, and it does an amazing job polishing all that dead skin off and giving my skin a more radiant, youthful glow. This body butter is very similar to the Body Shop's body butter. It's very thick and creamy. It looks like that. But this um, almond and honey smell smells so, so, so good. The smell does linger a little bit, but I like that, so it's a win-win for me. So definitely these have been a favorite of mine. Next favorite of mine you have seen in some of my previous favorite videos, but I literally use this every day in the month of September and I'm continuing to use it, and it is the Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. Looks like this. This is just absolutely amazing. What I use it for is after I do my makeup, I do a little spritz and it really sets everything and gives my face a nice glow. If you have dry flaky skin and you put foundation on top, it can be a hot mess, especially if you use a setting powder, it can just look dry and flaky. This is mama's little helper. This did a great job of moisturizing everything, setting it and giving it a nice glow. So mwah, love this. And you can get the Pixie by Petra Glow Mist at Target. I wanna say this is around $15 but it lasts forever, because you just need a little spritz. The next favorite of mine is actually an entire makeup line, and it is the Makeup Geek Eyeshadows. I have a collection that I bought singly, and I put in these Z palettes here. Let me show you, beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, makeup Geek is a wonderful little small line. It started by a YouTuber, and you can check out her YouTube videos. I'm sure you all already know about this, but if you have her Makeup Geek videos, but she has an amazing line of makeup. One of my favorites are her shadows, and you can buy them individually, and they're just beautiful, beautiful shadows. I think they're very similar kind of to MAC shadows, 
But you can buy them in a compact or you can buy them individually. I just bought them individually and I've put them in a Z palette. And um, beautiful shadows. Just look at this. She has a She's great variety of matte and shimmer. I tend towards the more matte shadows, but look at those. Beautiful fall colors. So um, I'm actually wearing her shadows today. I have on this one, which is Cosmopolitan, and then I have Coco Bear in the crease. And it's just a really nice fall look. The shadows are very buttery soft, and they're just wonderful, and it's a great, great value because they last forever. The best part about the Makeup Geek shadows is they are only $6 a shadow. So you really can't go wrong. Um, I just love them. You can check them out at MakeupGeek.com. So the next two favorites actually go together, and it is a Becca highlighting powder, and this one is in Moonstone, and the brush that I used to apply it on. Here's what the highlighting powder looks like. Let me show you. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can see I've made a big dent in it. And the brush that I used to apply it is the Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman contour brush and it is the absolute perfect brush for applying highlighter. You can put it exactly where you want it. Um, because my skin's been dry and dull, I've lost a lot of that summer glow that I had when I went to the beach, I really need to give some dimension back into my face. So I find that a highlighter is perfect. Now what I'll do is I'll put it right on the cheekbone there. Just right on the cheekbone. You can see how perfectly, and then sometimes I rub it right down my nose, but you can see how perfectly this brush places it just for a nice glow. See that little shimmer? Not too much, but just enough to give my face a little dimension. So these have definitely been a favorite of mine. And you can get the Becca at Sephora, and I believe Ulta sells it now too, as well as Nordstrom. The Real Techniques brushes you can pick up at Ulta. Okay, the next favorite of mine has been my go-to lip color for September, and it is the L'Oreal La Luck. And it is a shiny, full coverage lipstick. And this one is in, color is in number 209, Choco Luck. And it is beautiful. It's in between a lip pencil and a lipstick. It's got a tiny little tip like this. It's very moisturizing, which gives it a nice little shine. It feels terrific on the lips, and I love the color. It's just a very natural, kind of muted nude, which is perfect for the fall right now. The next favorite of mine is a lifestyle favorite, and it is the Ice Cafe 3-in-1 Coffee Mix, and it is the Cafe Sudal. And what that is, is it's a Vietnamese iced coffee. I love it. We go to our little Vietnamese faux noodle shop, and I always get the Cafe Suda, which is that beautiful, yummy little iced coffee where they drip it into the cup full of ice. And they it also tastes. add some condensed milk to sweeten it, it up in the cup, and it is delicious. It's a definitely a caffeine boost. But while I was in one of the Korean grocery stores, I saw this. And it's the Ice Cafe 3-in-1 Instant Mix. And you get these little packets and you mix it with boiling water. You stir it up and then you add ice. And ta-da! You have your Cafe Suda. Here's what the box looks I've like. I've seen that you can also find these on Amazon. You can almost like always them. find them in your Vietnamese or your Korean grocery stores as well. And it is absolutely amazing. There's 10 little sachets here. And my son and I actually will enjoy these. Um, after school sometimes and it's so yummy and you don't need to add the condensed milk. Sometimes I will if I want a little extra sweet boost, but you really don't need to add it because it's already sweetened. So it's fabulous. So definitely try those out if you like a good uh, iced coffee or a v Vietnamese iced coffee. I think you'll really adore these. All right, so those are my favorites for the month of September and I'm also gonna sneak a quick little giveaway in. Another favorite of mine has been these tassel necklaces that I've been making for my Adorn jewelry line. Here's what they look like. It's a really pretty statement piece. Here I have it paired with just a t-shirt and jeans, but it adds a little boho, um, chicy vibe to whatever you're wearing. So I want one of these away to my subscribers. It might have different colors depending on what I have in stock, but it'll look very similar to this with the beads and the tassel. And in order to be eligible to win, I just need you to be a subscriber to my video and then leave a comment down below about what your favorite thing to do is in the fall. We're so excited about the fall coming up. It's um, 
brings cooler weather and fun clothes and pumpkin spice latte and all that great stuff. And I'd love to hear what you like to do in the fall. So leave that down below. I will pick a winner at the end of October, October 31st. Contact I'll that winner via YouTube Messenger. And, and I'll, I'll also announce the winner in one of my upcoming videos. So definitely comment down below if you'd like to win one of these necklaces from Adorn Jewelry Design. I and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will stay tuned. I have a fall. many fun videos coming up. I have a Halloween home tour for 2015, I have a fall clothing haul, I have a battle of the Korean beauty boxes coming up, and a bunch of other special videos. So stay tuned for those, and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.